Well, today is smoker and grill cleaning day for me, and I've just been putting on some nice coats of food grade mineral oil on different cookers. And one of those is my Hunsaker Vortex drum smoker. Now I've had this for just about three years now. I think next month will be three years. And I haven't really done an update on it to show what I think about it, any problems I'm having, anything I wish they do differently. So it's time to do that. So of all the cookers I have, this one is truly set it and forget it. Once this is dialed in, and usually I run it about 275, it will hold that for 10 hours. I've had an entire basket of charcoal and wood chunks last for 10 hours before in here. I've said this before in videos and review videos, I like it when a cooker does what it's supposed to do. This one does what it's supposed to do. It turns out great food. It's very versatile. It has a five rack system in there. You could literally put five racks in there. I only have two racks, two cooking grates in there. The Vortex basket for charcoal and wood chunks works great. It's super heavy duty. That thing's gonna outlive me. The simple venting system on this with a top vent and a lower vent with start, run and stop just works. It's so simple. It's not complicated. Once you get the basket of charcoal lit, you get it in there, you set it on start. I usually let it run for about 20 to 30 minutes until you get good smoke out of there. Then I put the food on and it just runs. You turn it to run. That's how simple it is. Now you can dial the temp up and down a bit by using that lower vent or the upper vent, but I like that 275. I've run it at 250 or 225 and I've run it really hot above 400 degrees. So it'll basically do it all. In fact, I know a lot of competition guys will use this drum for hot and fast cooking of briskets and pork butts and things like that. So is there anything about this which I'm disappointed with or any problems I see? No, <laughs> there's not. I can't find one thing wrong with this that I don't like. I haven't had a problem, a failure. I don't have any rust. I do take care of it though, and I keep it out of the elements. It's covered if there's gonna be rain or I keep a nice light coat of food grade mineral oil on it and that keeps it protected. Inside, I brush it down. I don't get overly obsessed about the inside being pristine, but I will clean it out, vacuum out that bottom of any excess ash. The only thing that I would have done differently when I ordered it is something I think they've actually changed already. So let me show you that. When I got this drum, I added this, a silicone probe port. I've done that on several cookers. You can see on the outside here, on the inside here. It makes it very simple to feed probe wires through. I know a lot of people would just feed them down through the upper vent and that works fine, but I wanted something that was a little more dedicated. It entailed drilling through, putting in the grommet. Had to be careful, but it's worked fine. There's no rust that's developed around it. I think, and don't quote me on this, but I think they now offer this, something like this as an option, a silicone probe port which is fantastic. It's just a small addition to this, which makes it more useful for me. And inside the drum here, you can see I have the rib and chicken hanger in. Let me take that out. I've got two racks in on the second and third level. Down at the bottom, you can see the Vortex basket with the Vortex plate on top and the heat protector. It's a ring that goes around there. It's removable that just protects the drum surface from intense heat from the charcoal basket. And if you see on top of the vortex plate here, there are some rust spots. That metal is very thick and about every three months, I just wire wheel that off and give it a spray, but you're gonna get a lot of moisture on there, moisture building up in here. It drips down on there. That's where everything drips if you're not doing a catch pan. And sometimes I don't do a catch pan because I like those juices to get down there, hit that charcoal, create some more flavor. But inside, we're looking really good, except the normal buildup you get, which again, I don't obsess over that. I'll brush it down every few months and it just works. So that is how the Hunsaker is doing. Again, it's weird when you do a progress report and update on something and it just is working. There's really nothing that I don't love about this cooker. The only negative to this has nothing to do with the cooking. I make YouTube grilling and cooking videos and filming inside a closed barrel is not always easy. It's hard to get the cameras in close there to get good shots. It's dark sometimes, but you know what? That's worth it for putting out great food like this thing does. 